all right so what is going on today youtube we will be going in with some replays and we're going to be starting something new so every friday what i'm going to do is um if you guys send in uh replays or some replays that i've gathered with the various decks i've been playing for the past week um we're going to just be doing a recap on friday um i got the idea from random my ex because he said he did want to send in some uh, replays and stuff like that so I'm going to leave an email link below for you guys to send the, uh, the what's the name, the replays and stuff like that. If you guys do want to send them or something like that, if you guys want to say hey or hello or something, I don't know what you want to do. But if you guys do want to send a replay for me to commentate over or a deck for me to look at or something like that, uh, definitely, you know, just, the, the email is going to be down below. That's the best way I can say it. I'm going to keep repeating myself. So, yeah. Um, this is what we're going to be doing Friday for the foreseeable future is just doing a little recap. So, yeah. Uh, and like always, before we start the video, I'd like to say if you guys do enjoy it, leave a like, leave a comment. And also subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys can't click an ad to help support the channel. So let's start this duel off. As you can see, I'm playing spot. Oh, wait, oh, one more, one more disclaimer, one more disclaimer, because I'm literally finna go do it. The last resort cannot be activated on the first turn. Now, when I play these duels, um, I believe I, I did not see the comment or I just was like, fuck it. I need to win. So <laughs> one of those two happened, uh, but it's the only two duels. I'm going to do it. I'm going to activate last resort on the first turn. I've completely stopped doing it because uh, like I said, that's not really helping me out doing illegal plays. So last resort cannot be activated on the first turn. I forgot. Somebody pointed it out and they uh, said that, Hey, last resort cannot be activated on the first turn. So yeah. Thanks. Shout outs to you. I forgot your name, but you know exactly who you are. Yeah. He told me he confirmed it with multiple judges that you cannot activate last resort on the first turn. I had a feeling since you cannot, you, know, you can't attack on your first turn or your main phase two, you can't attack. So, um, yeah, you, you should not be able to activate last resort. But as I said, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro is kind of uh, on some of their rulings. So I've been using it since uh, these are the last two times I'm going to use it. And Another thing is, uh, this deck right here is 47 because, um, all I did from my Sunday video was activate, I mean, and not activate, but add two instant fusions. Um, and I just end up cutting out the master plans in the spiral assault, spiral mission assault. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and start. Uh, but before we start, I would like to say, if you guys do enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel. So here we go. <clears throat> Starting off against Cosmos. And as you can see, um, we opened up a decent hand, but we do have the resort, so we're going to do the resort play. <laughs> and as you can see, this is pretty much, you know, got me pretty much most of my stuff. So here we go doing, as you can see. The quick fix plays, search the spiral sleeper. I did not have enough, I believe. I did have enough, but I did not. I didn't have. Uh, I, I didn't want to drop this without a last resort, only because uh, when this is not protected by last resort, this gets killed a lot. Then when this dies, it blows everything up, and you do not want to do that. So I, I just waited. I said, you know, let's not do it. And here you go. And not here you go, but here my opponent goes. He activated Carter Demise. Now with Drone, don't forget, I knew his I knew I knew his three cards. So I knew I put monsters at the top of his deck. So when he activated Carter Demise and you already normal summon, let's flip this utility wire. He can't normal summon, so it's a guaranteed, you know, to be discarding three. And as you can see, he has a pretty decent back row. Now he does activate this preemptively. But you know what? Hey, this is up to him. Spiral Resort. Get the uh, Spiral Master Plan that I do not play anymore. And I do hit the two Stormy Mirror Forces. And you, as you guys can see, he, he quit. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the first duel. Let's go ahead and get to the second one. As we're saying, we, uh, as we're as he's going, I mean, as I'm going up against the DDDs, as you can see, I open up Drone Lockbird, which is a complete shutout of this deck because they literally have to stop doing most of their plays. But... As you can see, he did not have nothing. He did have a Kepler, so that's something. So now I'm thinking, all right, here we go. We got to go off. He's drawn into another Kepler. We're going to hit the stat. We're going to summon Quick Fix, search our last resort, because it's literally uh, the third best monster in the whole goddamn deck, because I really love that card. So as you can see, we're going to get the Spiral Master Plan back, search the Assault, activate Spiral Gear. And here, I'm trying to crash, but Big Red, you cannot, you cannot die by battle with uh, Big Red. And as you see, I drew into a one-for-one. 
because of the assault. Now, here we go once again doing some illegal plays with the spiral, um, with the last resort and stuff like that. But, you know, like I said, these two duels are just going to be a little, a little, not a little, but a lot fucking uh, illegal. So, as you can see, I'm going off here. I'm going to a dollar hand, drop the sleeper. And once again, this is the reason why I want to play three last resorts. Is because I always, you know, I always use two. But, you know, we, we need to keep this equipped with something that cannot kill it by, cannot kill it because once this die blows everything up. But as you can see, I ended up with 10 cards and it's turn three. So that's, that's, that's just good. That's just real good. As you can see, I can just go ahead and stop my opponents every play because as you can see, I, I still have a what's the name? I still have utility wire set. Um, and he, you know, the most he can do is, you know, just do this. He can't really do too much because I have a dollar hand that's going to have the attack, which I for, believe he forgot. And, you know, I have a utility wire to bounce anything back. And I I, was, uh, <clears throat> I used Princess Sprite's effect. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and draw two more cards from Assault. Watch out. That's why I really love these cards. But, like I said, I've already cut them. There's not really too much I can do about it because you know, they're not the most optimal cards to get. So here we go, going up against in a going up against another DDD deck in the third duel. And as you can see, I opened up pretty decent. I opened up Mistake, which is the new build, and it's now down to 42. Because like I said, I cut the Master Plans and I cut the Spiral Mission Assaults, and I did add Mistake and I took out the Mind Crushers for Mistakes because this is a very good card. If you can catch your opponent, um, you can catch any of your opponents off with a mistake at the right time you can definitely win the duel it's like it's like vanity's emptiness when you have like a, a powerful deck like if you just spam your board and then flip vanity's emptiness your opponent can't do anything it's just like imperial order like with um with true king you just got to activate it at the right time don't forget that with mistake you do have to activate it at the right time because you have no way to kill it by yourself except for twin twister um so as you can see uh I called my I call spells hit a monster. Let's see. Let's see. How how look at this. Look at this. Um possibly should have called monster. He li he's playing no traps. Never mind. Oh he is he's playing one trap. So it was you know, I, I figured, you know, he was playing a decent amount of spells, but he isn't. I thought he was. Um, but <clears throat> it's alright. As long as you know, I just get to reveal I'm good. Some of the tough, since I know what the top deck is, bam, get to kill that. Go into a Vibian Dragon Mac. Pop that, get the big red, get the tough, and I decided to kill this, I believe, because I feel like this was the more, the more scary thing to keep on his board. Um, I don't, I can care less about what he's about to do right here. Um, I was scared of this, but not really because, like I said, rescue activates in the graveyard. We can go ahead and bring the tough back, and like I said, we have a super agent, so we can just figure out whatever's at the top of his deck. Let's say we called wrong again. <laughs> Call, now we go to tough. Tough pops that. Normal summon agent. Go Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon, which is a fantastic fucking card. Because that shit gets you so it gets you so ahead. Especially with this deck. Since you know, when you have a tough going and you can drop this on the board, you can literally put you can push for a lot of damage. So here he goes, draw into a desires, draw into an allure, DD Swirl Slimes, and then activates a Lamia thinking that he can summon it without anything, and he ends up quitting because as you know. With Lambia, he would have to send a DDD to the graveyard, which he can't do. And as you can see right here, this is probably the best hand you can open up with. Um, not best hand, but it, the best like the best two-card combo in, in the deck is Quick Fix and a Machine Doom. Because you just, you end with so much shit. And as you can see, I have I even have an Instant Fusion to go Theseus, uh, Coral Dragon, Big Red, Quick Fix, Bam, Search. Um, draw into an ancient fairy dragon. All right, there we go. There's go. There goes the mistake. Now I know what my opponent's going to be drawing for the next three turns. Whoa, I'm supposed to pause it. And as you can see, he was he's going to draw these. And the reason why I put terraforming to the top is because I did have a mistake and a drawing lock bird. So I was like, let's lock my opponent out. And that's pretty much what's going to end up happening. And as the after the what is this the first turn? After the first turn, we're in with, what, nine cards. So that's pretty much a, what, plus four, which you can do easy with this deck with Machine Dupe. So here he goes, activates the Terraforming, gets a mistake dropped on him. Then he activates Desire. So I'm thinking right here to use Draw Lock Bird, but obviously, obviously I did not use it. And then he drew into a trade-in. So I said, fuck it. We're not going to draw no more trade-ins after that. And he ends up drawing into another trade-in. And if I let that go, he's going to draw the Quaking, which probably would have got me. 
depending on really, I, I forgot what it happened on the second turn, but he probably would have got me with that. So he summons that, and I'm thinking, all right, so what the fuck is he playing? I'm thinking he's playing like regular blue eyes, but when he summons that, I was like, oh shit, he's probably playing, you know, chaos max and shit like that with BLSs and stuff. So that end up is that pretty much ends what he was playing. I mean, end up. That is what he was playing. So here we go. I know what's at the top of his deck. Drop the agent. Um, and then pretty much attack the game thanks to Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. And a mistake that is just pretty fucking good. Because stop the mansion. So <clears throat> on to the last duel of the day. This was a match. And as you can see, I opened up pretty decent again. Opened up double quick fix. But it's decent at best. We really have to wait. And I can't wait because this man has a Chaos Max Dragon on the board. So... Um, one card is going to come in handy, and I'm, I don't know if you guys can see the play coming, but Foolish Burial does come in handy. We're going to get the sp Super Agent back. Now, I was thinking tough, but once again, uh, I don't want to miss with tough. You know, Super Agent activates immediately as soon as it's spells someone by a Spiral card, um, so that's good. And look, Last Resort is being used correctly this time. <laughs> We're going to get Double Quick Fix, go into a Princess Sprite, and draw into a Resort, which is amazing. Get the sleeper. So now I'm just trying to fill my fill my graveyard up with uh with um spiral cards so we can uh pretty much go off and drop this sleeper. I'm going to a dull hand, half drop the spiral sleeper, end up popping because I said you know what, there's no reason not to pop. It's a free pop. Um and we're in the battle phase, so no uh what's in it, no effect available. But I had to be careful because if I if if, if he had a ghost circuit, that that would have been a very bad thing that uh, have happened. But as you can see. My opponent is pretty much dead. I know what he's going to draw. And I do have a sleeper on the board with a utility wire. So that's good and all that. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And like I said before, there will be the email is in the description. So if you guys do want to send some replays or something, uh, definitely do that. And, yeah, see you guys next week on Monday. I don't know what I'm going to do on Monday. Probably going to do like a little market watch with my version of a market watch and stuff like that probably gonna do those every monday or um if i do go to locals there will be a locals report on monday so see you guys monday hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah i'm out